dear children till 16th century the scope of biology was only limited to some countries and especially the europeans were dominating but you cannot stop the truth for a long period of time biology and its significance the world came to know gradually in due course of time by contribution of many authors those who have devoted their entire life for the study of living beings now i am going to tell you all those authors or philosophers those who have contributed a lot towards the study of biology so therefore whatever we know today about this particular field of science contribution of these contributors are priceless so let's give a tribute to them let's know who they were what were their books how did they contribute let's see so emergence of contemporary biology name of the books and their contributor the authors to begin with de historia plantarum and de causis plantarum both these books are considered to be the bible which actually initiated the interest about biology for every commoners theophrastus the father of botany the man who has contributed a lot who has actually devoted his entire life to study plants to study medical importance of these plants next naturalist historia by lini the elder a very important philosopher of 17th century micrographia the person who discovered cell for the first time robert hook by using a simple microscope always keep this in mind whatever we see just not close your eyes after seeing it utilize and think about what you have seen ask question to yourself why and how until and unless we are inquisitive we are curious to know the unknown science will stop research would stop and i have told you research has to continue and that can only happen when we are curious to know the unknown when we see something and ask question to ourselves why and how because why would give the significance of that event and how would give the mechanism of that event let's cite an example when we see a sun when a child is growing up when he sees a moon or a sun the child does ask his mom ki mom what is that now that is what initiates the study of science when we see something we observe something we ask question ki what is that then mom replies ki sun that is the sun that is the moon fir the child ask how it is glowing so bright then the mom answers it is having different type of chemical reaction thermonuclear reaction fission and fusion reaction and therefore it is emitting light heat energy 
So the how question helps us to understand the mechanism. And later on when the child asks why, the mother answers that is the ultimate source of energy. Each and every photosynthetic organisms are dependent upon that energy. So that's significance. So why answer is the significance. So therefore, all these contributors, all these authors and their books, they will get observers. Till the time we are good observers, we cannot do anything good in science, in research. So micrographia, Robert Hooke, a person who was always curious to see the unseen, to see the invisible. So therefore, he started working on some lenses and evolved or invented a simple microscope which can magnify and show us something which is invisible to naked eyes. What a contribution. What a contribution. Historia. Generalist Plantarum, John Ray, Systema Naturae, Genera Plantarum, Species Plantarum, all contributed by one and only Carolus Linnaeus, the father of taxonomy, a man who actually proposed binomial system of nomenclature that every scientific name would have two propositions, a generic name and a specific epithet. That means each and every newly discovered species has to be given a scientific name or else research would become all the more confusing. Philosophy, Zolik, Jean Baptiste de Lamarck, the person who proposed Lamarckism, use and disuse of organ. The person who actually gave the term biology, Lamarck. And who can forget this book and the person who actually wrote this book, Origin of Species. The greatest ever evolutionary biologist of the 19th century, Charles Robert Darwin. A man, a young man at the age of 22, leaving his home, going for a sea voyage for five long years to discover the undiscovered, to know the unknown. And therefore, he wanted to abolish all the myths which were prevailing in the society. So therefore, what I mean to say to all of you Research can only progress with your efforts, with the efforts of these great philosophers and authors writing great books, because they always keep their eyes and ears open. And that's what makes science a subject which is always exploring something new. So therefore, my dear children, we can only proceed further when we know who were our ancestors contributing a lot in this particular subject called biology. I hope you have been able to understand this part of my lecture. Thank you very much.